On a Friday, December 6, the United States employment data will be the main macroeconomic report on the day. The, non -farm, the November non-farm payrolls figures could be the key argument that allows the U.S. Fed Reserve to finalize its stance on the interest rates, at least for the upcoming meeting scheduled for December 18. By the way, the recently published job openings and layoffs report for October showed a positive trend. More new jobs were created and the number of layoffs decreased. This could indicate the resilience of the U.S. labor market, which in turn could strengthen the U.S. dollar. As a result, the dollar remained stable in the first week of December against most of its major counterparts. Now, let's explore whether Friday's macroeconomic data could influence this situation. You are watching Traders Calendar. In the second half of 2024, economic concerns in the Eurozone, especially in Germany, continue to rise. There are growing fears that the leading EU economy could slip into recession. However, this may change after the publication of industrial production data. Analysts foresee a recovery from minus 2.5% to plus 1.2%. If the predictions come true, the euro will gain value in the short term. At the same time, the United Kingdom will release its data on the housing price index. While it may seem like a secondary indicator, this report reveals key aspects of the economy, including inflation, a decline or rise in wages, the labor market situation and a consumer demand. Economists anticipate a slowdown to 3.7%, which could put downward pressure on the British pound. The euro may have a positive day on a Friday, at least until the US data is released. The Eurozone will publish its GDP figures and employment data. It's expected that the Eurozone's GDP will accelerate to 0.9%, which could support the euro. And at the same time, the Eurozone will also release employment data for the third quarter of 2024. It's forecasted to show a growth of 0.1%, which would further bolster the Euro. Canada's labor market is also expected to show improvement. November's numbers are predicted to be almost double the previous figure. Thus, the number of employed people may increase from 14,500 to 27,500. And this could give the Canadian dollar a brief moment to shine, loving it to strengthen against the US dollar. The US employment data release could trigger extreme volatility in the forex market. The forecasted numbers seem to combine both the November growth and the lost jobs in October. Analysts expect the non-farm payrolls to rise by 190,000 to 200,000. If these expectations are met, the US dollar could experience a significant rally. However, the market this year has been too sensitive to US labor reports. It's worth paying attention to the wage growth data which could Un uh, unveil a slowdown from a 4% to 3.9. Since controlling inflation is also the responsibility of the Fed Reserve, a slowdown in wage growth could suggest a lower risk of inflation, which might lead to the Fed to reduce interest rates. This, in turn, could negatively affect the US dollar. The country's economy is the main driver of the currency growth. Meanwhile, a consumer demand is the main growth engine for the economy. According to reports, the US dollar is in a good shape in this respect and the Preliminary Consumer Sentiment Index published by the University of Michigan is expected to rise by another 1.5 points to 73.3 points in December, and this could give the US dollar another burst. Several key Fed officials are scheduled to speak after the publication of the US labor market data.
These comments may include assessments of the current economic situation in the United States and the forecast regarding future interest rate decisions by the Fed Reserve. Please note that the time of the publications in our video is set in a GMT plus 3. We wish you profitable trading and see you soon.